हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू समाधान लाइफ साइंस आई विल डिस्कस कॉन्सेप्ट्स फ्रॉम द गेट एक्सेल केमिस्ट्री सिलेबस इन द इजीएस्ट वे पॉसिबल टुडेस टॉपिक इज ऑर्बिटल नोड्स वन ऑफ द कंफ्यूजिंग टॉपिक फ्रॉम एटॉमिक स्ट्रक्चर चैप्टर सो बिफोर वी जंप टू द नोड्स लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट ऑर्बिटल सो ऑर्बिटल्स आर द रीजन वेयर प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ फाइंडिंग इलेक्ट्रॉन इज मैक्सिमम राइट now orbitals are defined by four different quantum numbers first is n principal quantum number which tells us about the size and energy of the orbital and this n can be integers like 1 2 3 etc then our second quantum number is l azimuthal quantum number which tells us about the shape of the orbital and value of l can take from 0 to n minus 1 for example if we have n is equal to 1 then l can be 0 and 1 and depending on the value of l we have our different orbital of different shape for example if l is equal to 0 then we have s orbital if l is equal to 1 then we have p orbital if equal to 2 then we have d orbital and similarly if l is equal to 3 then we have a f orbital our next quantum number is magnetic quantum number which tells us about the orientation of the orbital now for a given l we have ml values ranging from minus l to plus l for example if we have l equal to 1 then we can have ml value minus 1 0 and plus 1 and the last quantum number is spin quantum number which can have value plus half or minus half depending on the electron spin now let's move on to the orbital node so for the orbital we discussed that orbitals are the region where probability of finding electron is maximum now we have regions where the probability of finding electron is exactly zero and we are calling these regions nodes so we can reach to this zero probability in two ways first by the distance from the nucleus so if the nucleus is in the center of an atom then there can be a hollow spherical region where the probability can be zero and we will call that region a radial node then the second way is uh due to the direction and we will call that node angular node so let's uh, see this by example so i just now discuss that depending on the value of l we have different shapes of orbital so if l is equal to 0 then we have a s orbital which has spherical shape so in the spherical shape there is no sense of direction right so in the s orbital there can only be radial node but in contrary in the p and d orbitals there can be both for example if this p orbital lobes are aligned along z axis then we can call it a pz right and by this point by the center of two lobes there is this xy plane where probability of finding electron is zero right so we will call this plane for this pz orbital a angular node similar for the this d orbital we can find angular nodes along this axis okay so now we have a very simple formula to calculate the number of nodes so the formula is depends on number of n and a so if the total number of nodes is n is minus 1 angular nodes is number of l that means azimuthal quantum number and the rest of the nodes are radial nodes so the number is n minus l minus 1 so let's take example if we have 3s orbital then n is equal to 3 and l is equal to 0 so we have our angular node is equal to l is equal to 0 and number of radial nodes n minus l minus 1 so 3 minus 0 minus 1 so 
remember that for any s there will not be any angular node only radial node because l is equal to 0 now take another example if we have orbital 4d then n is equal to 4 and l is equal to 2 so the number of angular nodes will be 2 and the number of radial nodes will be 4 minus 2 minus 1, 1. And the total number of nodes, just add these two or these two. Okay, simple, right? Now, let's visualize uh, the node. So, for the radial node, we can cut the onion uh, along the cross section. So, we can imagine that in the center is the nucleus and uh, the these spherical structures are our radial nodes and for the angular node we can take cake slices so along the perimeter of the cake there is maximum cream right so uh, similarly there the maximum probability of finding electron but along these cards there is no creams or no cakes similarly no probability of finding electron so those are our angular nodes so there are I have uh, taken two examples from our previous year exams. So, question one is the number of radial nodes in 3p orbital. So, for 3p, we have n equal to 3, n equal to 1. So, the number of radial nodes will be 3 minus 1 minus 1. So, 1. So, the answer is 1. And for the second question, the number of nodal planes in dxy orbital. So, they are asking about nodal planes. That means angular nodes only. So, for dxy orbital, n is equal to 2. So, the number of angular planes is 2. The answer is 2. So, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.